Ciao, my name is Massimo Gaffo. I'm an executive chef from Roma. I'm here to show you how simple it is to make branzino for your family. I ordered this beautiful branzino yesterday from FultonFishMarket.com and received it today. Besides the beautiful branzino filet for this recipe, you will need salt and pepper, a little bit of all-purpose flour, onions, baker potatoes or russet potatoes, cherry tomatoes, fresh baby spinach, a little bit of fresh garlic, fresh basil, fresh thyme, olive oil, and at the end, always, always when you're cooking with Massimo, a little bit of white wine. Salud. And now, let's get started. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna prep the potatoes for it, which they're previously julienne, salt, pepper, and now we're gonna move to the stove, we're gonna add our oil, we're gonna grab our potatoes, which they're gonna be cooked nice and crispy, like ash brown. We're gonna add a little bit more oil. This process should take you about five to six minutes. Now with our spatula, you Look at those crispy potatoes. They look so yummy. So now the potatoes are nice and crispy. We're gonna remove the potatoes, put them aside on a dish, because now we wanna move to the second step, which will be cooking the branzino. So we're gonna put our oil in our pan on a medium high, not too hot. We don't want the oil to burn. And we're going to lightly flour the branzino filet. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper. Now we're gonna move it to the pan. So now we're gonna let it cook about five minutes each side. I'm gonna turn the fish right now. And look at the crispiness on the skin. You do want the skin to be crispy because you do want to eat the skin. That's the best part of the branzino. So we did our filet of branzino about five minutes each side. And now we're gonna slowly put it aside and look how beautiful it looks. Wow, if you guys can only be here and smell it. We're gonna save the oil then we saute the branzino, and slowly we're gonna start with our sauce, which we have fresh onions. We're gonna let it saute for about 20 seconds. We have some fresh garlic, minced. Now we're gonna add our beautiful cherry tomatoes. Salt and pepper. And since I'm from Rome, Italy, I love a lots of olive oil. I love basil and fresh tomatoes. So right now, I believe it's the best part of the dish. When we're gonna learn how to deglaze and also how to have a sip of white wine. Mmm, amazing. Now at the beginning of the recipe we said that we're gonna use some fresh thyme, so no need to cut it with a knife. Just take some of the springs off. You don't wanna overpower the recipe. And we said we're gonna have some fresh basil. Same thing, we don't have to use a knife for basil. We're gonna just crack it in pieces like that, like grandma used to do at home when we were kids. Now the sauce, it's pretty much done. What we're gonna do, we're going to put the branzino back into the sauce with the skin on. 
we're going to move the pan on the side. We're going to put back the pan that we previously did the potatoes with the same oil. We're not changing anything. And we are going to saute our fresh spinach. After that, we are ready to go to finalize this beautiful dish. No needs for salt, because as we all know, spinach, they're high in iron. A little bit of pepper. And now, we are ready to plate our branzino. First step, we're gonna take our beautiful saute spinach, put it right in the center of the plate. One of the things about my food, about my dishes, I love elevations. So we're gonna try to create a little bit of a base for our beautiful branzino. So the branzino will stay a little bit higher on the plate. And like SpongeBob used to have a spatula, I have my magical tongs. We're gonna switch to the spatula. We're gonna lay the branzino right on top of the spinach. We have our beautiful tomato sauce. Look how light it is, no cream, no butter. And we're going to just put it right on top. The last part of the dish is putting those beautiful crispy potatoes right on the top. That's it, so easy and fast. A beautiful branzino, a massimo gaffo, keeping it full and fresh. Salute.